MATLAB introduced dictionaries in R2022B. And these are a very cool functionality that maps keys to values. It's considered a data structure, and I'm going to show you a case study of using this to convert these region names in an Excel spreadsheet to the full written out names like United States, European Union, and so forth. To do this, I'm simply going to use the read table function and do some formatting. If you're not super familiar with tables, I've got a whole separate video on it. But our goal here is to convert that region abbreviation into the actual names. And we can use a dictionary to do this. The first thing we need to do is define an array of keys and an array of values. Keys must all be one single data type and values can be another single data type. I've got them both as strings in this case, but you can map strings to integers, doubles to characters, or whatever you'd wanna do. The number of keys and the number of values must be the same. So I think I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine keys. I also need a array of nine values as you can see here. To create the dictionary then, we just run the dictionary function and then the keys and values. If we run this, we'll see that now we have our dictionary formed right here and it's this mapping arrow that is key. So anytime we give this dictionary EU, it'll give us Europe. If we wanna give it IND, then it returns India. Let's see how this is used. If I simply ask for D of IND as the input, I get India out. And that's how we map a single value. We provide the key and we get out the value. You can do this to an array of values as well. If you ask for an entire array, here I'm taking just the region names from our table, then we get out all the corresponding longer names that we're requesting. Pretty great. That gets us one step closer to actually now resaving the updated region names back here into our table because we can just input the original region names, which are all the abbreviations, It'll give us out these full names here and we'll resave that into our table. If we run this, we'll see that we get our updated table now in our command window right here with the full region names. This is one simple use case of a dictionary. There's a bunch of additional functions that you can work with. One easy one, if you just want the keys out, you do d.keys. If you just want the values out, you can do d.values and you'll get that information. You can check if something is a key by running is key and then whatever that key value is you're interested in. It's going to give you a yes or no logical. So here, no, Australia is not a key. But if I wanted to add that in, you can do it very simply by just providing it the key name and the corresponding value. And if we run this, now we've got Australia being mapped from aus right here. Pretty awesome. <laughs> and then a couple more things, you can change existing keys by just the same way, you're essentially overwriting them, but I can provide EMEA and give them the updated Europe, Middle East, and Africa. That'll rewrite the existing one to the correct name right here, pretty straightforward. And then you can remove keys by just setting one of the key names to an empty array. If you run this, you'll see that we no longer have the DAH key available. We do have our Australian and our updated EMEA though. That's your basic functionality. Of course, help a dictionary will get you the best help you could ask for as well as DAH Dictionary will open up the MATLAB documentation. That's all for this video on dictionaries. Do remember that you need R2022B or newer because this is a new feature MATLAB just released and use it as a data structure that can map keys to values. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and have an awesome week. Cheers.